a place in the field is a film that I've been hearing nothing but amazing things for a while. And now that I finally got my chance to check it out, I'm here to break it all down, but also to tell you to go watch this film. So nevertheless, let's jump into the review of this film right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today, we're going to be reviewing the new film, A Place in the Field, which is available right now on demand and digital. And without a doubt, you'll want to go out the way to check this film out because it's such a fantastic film, um, just an amazing performance, but just so much heart and substance within this film. Now, yes, the film does... In revolve around a veteran story um, um, and, and a veteran experiencing PTSD. But even with that, whether you served or not, whether you have family members in the service or not, um, I think it just not only addressed a concern that should be a little bit more visible in society, but ultimately just a love letter to all of the veterans, all the brave vets who continue to fight battles uh, with PTSD and so on after the call. It's a beautiful story. And, you know, starting off with our lead and Don DePetta, who plays Giovanni. Uh, he's also the writer of this film. Uh, the director is also Nicole uh, Mija. Listen, Don, I've seen Don for a while. Um, and, and, and while Don, if, you, if you're a fan of Don's, uh, you know, he's a comedian as well, too. And I think just by his previous resumes and, and obviously uh, his uh, hilarious uh, stand-up sets, he just shows so much range. And so with him being a writer, with just the importance of this film, I was just overly, I was overly excited to really see him step into this role. And he did not disappoint at all. I want to go over on a limb and say, like, this might be his best performance to date. Like, like, don't get me wrong. Green Book, excellent. But, like, this right here, man. And, and I don't know if it's just because I just connected with this character so much. And, again, I've, I've never served. But it's just because this is a guy that's just trying to do the right thing, but also really struggling um, inside. And I think everyone can relate to that. I think we all have had our trial and tribulations and we look at we look for the light at the end of the tunnel and that's what sends Geo on this journey because he receives a package and his package sends him on a road trip to fulfill a promise and 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 ultimately decide his fate because he's dealing with a lot. And so when he when he gets this package and letter from his old friend uh, which ultimately sends him uh, throughout across the American Southwest, um, fulfilling that promise to his friend. He could have never imagined that that package was going to be his friend's ashes, who ultimately um, had committed suicide, which the film explores. And it's it's interesting how they how they do this, because I'm just going to say that like, this film has a lot of rewatchability because beyond the plot, I think there's good messages and themes within it. But then also there's a little bit of a mystery aspect in terms of just how and when did his fallen brother uh, commit suicide. And if that becomes an element of the film that's important to you, then you'll look for it. But if not, it is truly for me, at least with my first watch, seeing Giovanni uh, really struggle and battle through all of his mental uh, issues uh, to, to complete this fate. Uh, this, this mission for his fallen brother. And along with him, uh, Corey Ellis, who plays uh, uh, his military brother in Herber, the two of them just have amazing camaraderie together on screen. So, like, as much as I'm praising Don in his performance, Corey comes in, which, come to find out, Corey resume isn't that long. But he comes in this role, and I was fooled because I was like, I know I've had to see him somewhere. Um, but this, listen, Corey and Dom, they're fantastic on screen. They have amazing camaraderie, so you really feel that very organic brotherhood between the two of them. But I think you need somebody like Herbert in your corner, especially when you're struggling. That person that keeps you balanced, that person that keeps you visible, seen, understood, you know, with 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 love and, and, and care and comfort uh, while he see his brother 
Geo struggle, but ultimately trying to fulfill a mission that the two of them both want to fulfill for, uh, you know, their fallen brother. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's sad because it's Geo's best friend, but ultimately the promise that he made for him to spread his ashes in his hometown uh, by the 4th of July uh, it's just it's, it's it's really a beautiful thing because you know they explore how the promise was made they explore why they became as good friends as they are as as, as they are uh and, and and while you see the progression of the main storyline you get the flashbacks of what was happening in the service as well so and what's interesting about this is too is because like when you think about suicide um and i definitely uh want to get a give a parental advisory on the next few sentences i'm going to say People like to attest suicide to look a certain way. So they say it's always the person that's really sad and whatever, whatever. But understanding that Don life looks one way and then his best friend life looks one way. And so it's that element of like, well, why would he do that outside of like the obvious of the person who's struggling? Because the bottom line is it doesn't look any way. You never know what anybody's struggling with. You never know what anybody's kind of uh internalizing and 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 may why they may be showing one thing what's ultimately happened on the inside so which i think is a very important message in this story is much to the likes of herbert uh the, the character herbert is always just being there for your friends because you just never know and it's not a knock on geo not being there for his friend because he wasn't aware and he was still trying to figure out life back into society you know and whatnot and still battling his his ptsd but ultimately, it just tells a, a very important message about just being there for one another and the humanity working and fluently together to just create a better society if everybody's just there for one another. So I, I love that. And like, you know, Geo has a very monotone and simple world around him. And, you know, he, he, he has the perfect woman in his corner. Uh, but with the breakdowns, the mind tricks, uh, all those sorts of different things, it just really makes the struggle just uh, so much more difficult for him. And this 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 ideal of healing and progression just really becomes a, a just a deeper slope for him. So, you know, with that, too, you know, there's also some symbolic measures within the film. If you keep an eye out with the coyote and what does that mean? Um but I think with this movie just having so much heart and just truly a journey about resilience and just moving on um, and, and how you just can't carry the world on your shoulders and just no rush through life, but just taking moments to just enjoy it. Um, and, and then again, we talk about the resilience of the human spirit. You on the other end, you got to talk about redemption and and then other messages like forgiving yourself and giving grace for all you've been through. Like they explore all of that. And then ultimately dedicating it to the brave vets who continue to fight these battles long after the call. So if you're looking for a film that takes you on an adventure about fulfilling a promise for a best friend, wow, this person is so motivated to complete this, you know, and we all have our missions and our desires and our goals and ambitions, but still understanding while we may be productive, we still may be internally struggling. This is a movie that explores that um, in a very heart, heartfelt and responsible way. It's easily one of my favorite films this year. Um, and I strongly suggest that everybody go check it out. Once again, this is a place in the field. Um, it's on. It's available right now on demand and digital. Get in the comments, folks. Let me know your thoughts about this when you check it out. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.